Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I've been feeling stressed again lately. I'm starting to panic think everything. I don't know why. I don't know where this came from. And worst of all, I'm worried that my life is the way it is because I'm ugly. And if that's true, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Something Smells is the episode where Spongebob gets bad breath after eating a sundae and people start running away from him and Spongebob starts to think he's ugly as a result. This episode aired on October 26, 2000 and it's the first episode of season 2 to premiere on TV even though it wasn't the first episode produced. This is a common trend that would continue on throughout the entire series, but that's not too important. This episode is also known for an audio error for just about every single home media release during a scene when Spongebob talks to a building and it rumbles away, but we'll get there. Additionally, this episode is the episode where Patrick says he has no sister, oh, wait, I don't have a sister, only for this to be retconned by Nickelodeon with The Patrick Star Show in 2021. Sure, Season 7 also went against this with Episode 292, Big Sister Sam, but I'll explain that later. With all that aside, this episode is considered one of the most famous episodes of the entire series, and for good reason. Since this is the first episode of Season 2 that premiered on TV, that technically makes this the first time the audience sees anything from Season 2, even though it's not the season premiere in terms of how the episodes were produced. With all this in mind, let's watch this episode and see how good Season 2 starts in terms of the order the episodes premiered. So the episode starts up and Spongebob wakes up and gets blasted over to his calendar and discovers that it's Sunday. Why does that calendar have Sunday in the middle of the week? See? Why is that? Since it was Sunday, Spongebob would make a Sunday for breakfast. They were out of ice cream, so he used ketchup instead. Then he chopped up onions and discovered that they were out of peanuts. So as a result, he decided to take peanuts from his peanut plants. As he puts the entire plant with the pot and dirt in the Sunday. Gary was not in the kitchen, so Spongebob ate most of the Sunday himself and came out of the kitchen with horrible breath. Later, he looked at his Sunday to-do list and went all around Bikini Bottom saying hi to everybody he could see. But everybody he said hi to just smelled his breath and ran away. As he said hi to everybody in a parade, the bad breath piled up and hit the parade with a strike and they all ran away too. After this, Spongebob realized everybody was running away from him. He then came across Patrick and told him about the situation, but Patrick couldn't smell Spongebob's bad breath so he didn't know why everybody was running away either. Patrick came up with a couple possibilities and then came to the conclusion that Spongebob was just ugly. And after Spongebob's reflection test, Spongebob became sad and asked people if he was ugly. Wow, those fish would rather die than smell something bad? Damn. Spongebob soon decided that he was ugly and just isolated himself in his house. Patrick came over, but Spongebob was still sad. Patrick tried to cheer Spongebob up with a story called The Ugly Barnacle, but it just made Spongebob more sad and started crying like crazy. Patrick helped him stop crying and told him to scream because that's what Patrick does when he has problems. They go to the roof and Patrick gives Spongebob the encouragement to just let it all out, telling him to scream that he's ugly and proud. And he finally lets it all out. I'm ugly and I'm proud! Is that what he calls it? Is that what he calls what, Squidward? Spongebob felt empowered after screaming it all out, so they go to the reef to see a movie. He and Patrick went to the theater, and Spongebob kept saying that he was ugly, but other people still kept reacting to his bad breath, even though Spongebob didn't know that it was his bad breath. Spongebob started to get sad about everybody running away from him again, and Patrick got pissed off and lashed out at everybody else in the theater, making them look at Spongebob, but they all ran away due to his bad breath. They then went to the snack bar, but nobody was behind the counter, and Patrick thought they were on break. Or maybe they ran away too. Almost everybody in the movie theater ran away due to Spongebob's bad breath after all. Spongebob gave Patrick some of his Sunday from earlier. Patrick ate it all and ran to the restroom. He caught the bad breath too, and everybody else in the restroom smelled his bad breath and started reacting and running away. Patrick thought he caught the ugly too and became sad. Spongebob came in and Patrick told him how he thinks he's caught the ugly too and starts rambling about being quote unquote as ugly as Spongebob. I know he's panicking, but it feels like that was Patrick openly calling his own best friend ugly. Who does that? 
While he's rambling, SpongeBob finally smells Patrick's bad breath. SpongeBob yells at Patrick and states that Patrick wasn't ugly and only had bad breath. SpongeBob asks Patrick what he ate, and when Patrick mentioned the Sunday, SpongeBob realized that the Sunday gave them bad breath all along. SpongeBob and Patrick were delighted to figure this out, and their bad breath stink lines melted down the reef. They ran into Squidward and told him they stink, then they run away cheering, and the episode ends. So that was Something Smells, and this is an outstanding episode. There are so many awesome scenes in this one, and this episode nails every single joke it sets out to do. Scenes like when Spongebob has his to-do list that says, go to work, over and over again, and everybody's reactions when they smell Spongebob's bad breath are so funny. I also love when the cop appears out of nowhere, puts a ticket on the boat, and walks away after the boat explodes. I also think that this is one of Patrick's best episodes. He's a good friend of Spongebob in this episode, even though most of his attempts aren't that good, but at least he tries. I love seeing him stand up for Spongebob when he thinks everybody can't stand to look at Spongebob when he thinks it's due to ugliness. And he has some hilarious scenes too, such as when he tells Spongebob to scream, when he keeps screaming Look at it! to everybody at the movie theater, and of course, the ugly barnacle story, which is quite possibly one of, if not his most famous lines of the entire show. I love the parade part where there's the didgeridoo player over that looks like some kind of dolly, and Squidward's reaction when he hears Spongebob scream that he's ugly and proud. But now, I want to circle back to some of the things I said earlier. First up, let's talk about the infamous audio scene. When watching it on regular TV, Spongebob says, Hi, building! And then the building moves and you hear it's rumbling. But when watching the scene on home media releases like the Spongebob Season 2 DVD and the Sponge Buddies and Nautical Nonsense DVDs or VHS tapes, you hear this. I just don't get it! I don't either! Obviously, this is just a sound mixing error because you can see Spongebob's lips move and they're saying the correct Hi, building! line. However, I did watch this episode a lot on the VHS tape I had as a kid, and I always noticed a mixing error when I watched the tape. I could always tell the TV version was correct. I didn't watch the VHS version more than the correct TV version, of course, but it always felt kind of bizarre knowing that this actually got past the editing phase and into the final version of several home media releases. I just don't get it! I don't either. But this is just one scene, and it's not the part that I watch the most anyway, or a part that I would want to rewind on the tape often. Now let's talk about the other major note, Patrick and his sister. Patrick clearly stated that he had no sister when he was talking about being ugly. However, in season 7, the episode Big Sister Sam is all about Patrick having an older sister named Sam who appears and has a major role in the episode. Patrick did say he lost her in the surf when they were kids in the episode, so it's likely he forgot about her over time since it was clearly a long time ago when they had seen each other. Also, in episode 149, Rule of Dumb, there is a medieval family chart with Patrick on it, and Sam is nowhere to be seen. I talked about this before, but my theory is Sam was adopted before Patrick was born, and Patrick forgot about Sam since he was panicking about being ugly, and people can forget things while they're in a panic. And no, Squidina and Patrick are never said to have been siblings in the main series, and obviously Nickelodeon just wants anything possible with Spongebob, which clearly includes retconning everything in the main series in order for any kind of spin-offs to work. And I don't want to watch the Patrick Star show anyway, so I don't care what any current or potential spin-offs might say that would contradict anything in the main series. Now here's another interesting story about this episode. As a kid, I got this Spongebob plush toy for my birthday. This toy is Sunday Spongebob and is based off the part where Spongebob is shown wearing those glasses in his house. It also came out with a DVD with just that episode on it. I don't have that DVD anymore but I do still have the plush. I don't remember what birthday that was but it was definitely one of my favorite gifts the year I got it. Going back to the actual episode at hand, there's still so much to love about it. There are so many awesome scenes that truly do make this episode as great as it is. In my opinion, this is one of the best episodes of season 2. And that says a lot since season 2 is filled with amazing episodes throughout. It's definitely a standout episode of the season, and even the whole series. Any slight nitpicks I may have done throughout doesn't take away from the quality of this episode. 
I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but I honestly don't have any major complaints about this episode. Since this was the first episode to air on TV for season 2, it's a pretty good episode to premiere first. Obviously, we know that I only care about the order on Wikipedia or the wiki and don't pay attention to the premiere order, but I only remember how some of the episodes air, especially when I started watching them live as I got older. It's a great episode, and I think everything I said is only a little bit of why it's so great, even after all these years. Something Smells is an amazing episode. I could go on and on about the episode with more stuff that I haven't talked about right now, but I feel this is a good place to wrap things up. It's hilarious and an absolute classic and will always be a fun watch. But I don't think I'm over my thoughts from earlier. What if I really am ugly? Or maybe I just stink too.